Dear student, the topic of this video is uh, why glaxinase spasticity is a sign of upper motor neuron lesion. In my previous video, when I uh, described the stretch reflex and inverse stretch reflex, I told you that the concept of this inverse stretch reflex will help us to explain few clinical conditions. One of this is the glaxinase spasticity. So first, what is class 9? So in case of a pocket knife, you see, when initially we will try to open it, you have to apply greater resistance. But after opening up to a certain point, the resistance is reduced. It is much more easier to open the knife. So this is the pocket knife and we can call it, it is a movement of a class 9. Now, how this clasp knife movement, that initial resistance followed by easy movement or relaxed movement, it is related to the upper motor neuron lesion. Here we can see this is an example of uh, clasp knife uh, spasticity of the elbow. The, the person is trying to flex the elbow. Initially, he is facing more resistance. Okay, But if the flexion continues after certain point, it is its resistance is released and the suddenly the muscle is relaxed so this type of high resistance followed by collapse is known as the clasp knife phenomena okay and uh, it resembles the closing of a clasp knife now physiologically this is called the lengthening reaction as the response occurs due to lengthening of spastic muscle now this specific type of spasticity you will see it in upper motor neuron palsy. In that case, there will be hypertonia of the muscle. Okay, so in upper motor neuron lesion, there will be hypertonia uh, and there will be stretch sensitive hypertonia where into the anti gravity muscle. Okay, so what are the anti gravity muscles? The flexures of the upper limb are the anti gravity muscles extensors of the lower limb are the anti-gravity muscles. So in the upper motor neuron lesion, there will be hypertonia in these anti-gravity muscles. And what is the type of hypertonia? It is stretch sensitive hypertonia. Now what is the physiological basis of this nice spasticity in upper motor neuron lesion? Physiologically, this class knife spasticity can be explained on the concept of inverse stretch reflex. So inverse stretch reflex is the cause or uh, that can explain the pathophysiology of class knife spasticity in upper motor neuron lesion. From our knowledge of uh, stretch reflex and inverse stretch reflex we know that if the muscle is stretched up to a physiological limit so there will be contraction of muscle this is stretch reflex now if this muscle stretching it is beyond the physiological limit instead of contraction there will be relaxation of muscle and this is the uh, done by this inverse stretch reflex muscle now here in this case in upper motor neuron palsy the muscle is already hypertonic its tone is more the tone is normally high now so when i am trying to flex it forcibly or the tension developed the kind of tension is developed okay so that will cause the contraction of the muscle that is a stretch reflex with this contraction the tension will be raised further higher and this tension will cross this physiological limit now it will uh, stimulate the inverse stretch reflex pathway and we know that uh, there will be relaxation of the muscle. And what are the components of the reflex arc of this inverse stretch reflex? We know that the 
when the receptor of this reflex arc is the Golgi tendon organ its afferent nerve fiber is the one B type of fiber we will which will send the information of tension to the central nervous system then what will happen the alpha motor neuron in the and between this sensory nerve there is inhibitory interneurons so what will they cause they will cause the relaxation of the effector muscle okay so in upper motor neuron palsy when the straight when the tone is already high when we are stretching we are facing resistance and that is causing the contraction of muscle and uh, as a result of stretch reflex and this contraction will cause further increase in tension of the muscle and if it goes beyond the physiological limit that will activate the inverse stretch reflex pathway which will be uh, sensed by this Golgi tendon organ conveyed by one B fiber and with the help of this inhibitory interneurons there will be relaxation of the effector muscle. So we can see here this is the uh, example of class 9 spasticity the sequence of resistance followed by a sudden decrease in resistance when a limb is moved passively is known as the class knife effect because of its resemblance to the closing of a pocket knife and this is your class knife spasticity which is seen in the upper motor neuron palsy and it can be explained on the concept of inverse stretch reflex thank you